Are they here with a nightly quiz, a new one at that, at the same time so. and the same classic rules. Solve 12 tough ones and you'll split the $5,000 pot. But now, the classic rules have a VIP twist, baby. That's right. VIP twisty. Get yourself a VIP ticket and you're in a much smaller circle playing for the exclusive VIP pot, which tonight is $2,000. Yes, we'll do this if we sell 100 or more tickets, but no more than 150 tickets will be sold, so don't miss the opportunity. Literally, on Tuesday night, one person won $1,500. That's mm -hmm. crazy! Are, are hey, you have all week already? we've been honoring great charities from the great okay, state of New Jersey. Okay, because it keeps kicking me out over here. Tonight, it's the Moms no, 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 I closed it. Okay. Babies Plus. Moms helping moms! Since 2011, Moms Helping Moms has provided low-income children in New Jersey with essentials like diapers, wipes, hygiene products, books, and clothes. This year, the need has virtually doubled compared to last year. Inability to obtain diapers can prevent parents from accessing daycare, affecting work and financial independence. But by working with 62 social service agencies, provides the foundation access to families in need across all of New Jersey's counties. NHQ is also on board with Moms Helping Moms. And we're donating five cents for every person playing tonight. Straight to them, okay? And we got a message from their senior associate, Meredith. Take it away, girl. Moms Helping Moms is a baby supply and diaper bank serving families throughout New Jersey. Diaper need is the struggle to provide babies with clean, dry diapers. One in three families experience diaper need causing stress, both emotionally and financially to the mothers. During COVID, this has increased greatly. Moms Helping Moms is committed to helping end diaper need in New Jersey and assist families who need it most. Thank you, HQ Trivia, for selecting us as your beneficiary charity. You are welcome, Meredith, and thanks for all your hard work. Also, HQDs, if you want to learn more and help out all the moms, they're at MomsHelpingMomsFoundation.org. Check them out and give a little love if you can. Yeah. Now, are you ready to run your brain through the toughest obstacle course on the market? The question cannon's all loaded and the prize money's demanding that we set it free to a good forever home. So let's do this. Oh, yeah. Shift your head into fourth gear and keep your eyes on the road because it always gets bumpy. Turns are tight and you never know what could jump out at you. Now, there's nothing to it but to age cue it with so question chef, number right? one. Don't get easy Which of these is a popular breakfast cereal? Honey bunches of oats? Hey. Runny lunches on boats? Or bunnies crunching goats? What's it gonna be? Oh, yeah, just warming up your tapping fingers, okay? I know the only one of these I'd like to pour some milk on is honey bunches of oats. Yeah. Just making a silly, um, I promise they will get tougher. 52,058 players got it right. Yeah. Woo, 81 of y'all are eating bunnies, crunching goats for breakfast. I'm not going to your house. Q2. <laughs> La biblioteca is Spanish for what? The library, Ramon's bedroom, or swimming pool of sangria. La biblioteca. Learning Spanish when English is your first language offers you lots of gimmies. And it's not hard to reason Biblio, Bible, book, library. The library is the answer we were looking for. 51,628 players got it right. Crazy thing is, the Spanish for bookstore is La Libreria. Yeah, now they're just being different for its own sake. Q3 in the place to be. Who advances to the Miss Universe pageant? Miss America, Miss USA, or Miss United States? I don't know. Lynn? Lynn? Tricky, tricky. Okay. Are they still having beauty pageants? I, heard. I, I don't mean like during COVID. I mean in the 21st century. Well, if they're still looking for Miss Universe, our entry will be that year's Miss USA. Yeah. 33,789 of y'all got it right. And if you can name Miss USA. You have something burning? No, I don't think so. Is it her? Oh, Ooh, she fine. Hello. <laughs> Hello, Miss USA. All right. <laughs> Question number four. Knocking on your door. Which do you not need to be to join Shriners International? 
Christian, Freemason, or male. What's a Google feed? What'd you say? Yeah, just... All right, it takes a special breed to ride tiny cars in parades. Shriners are a Masonic order, admitting only master Masons who profess belief in the God of Judaism, Islam, or Christianity. Christian is the answer. Oh. 19,858, you got it right. Speaking of flagrant sexism, women get to join a ladies a, auxiliary. Said, I don't know what you said. Yippee. <laughs> Q5 for the children. Here we go. What kind of animal is an oyster catcher? Bird, seal, or whale? Ooh. Looking for the oyster catcher, y'all. Who is it? It's a guess, though. And time is. It could up. easily, it could easily be a bird. I just don't. <laughs> All right, if they could, if they open up big enough, any of these beasts could catch some oysters. But since oysters are the main source of food for the oyster catcher bird, huh? bird. it seemed like the right name. Twenty-one thousand twenty-eight players got it right. Oyster catcher bird is the answer. That's some wild otter. child even named clothes after them. <laughs> Look at that! Oh, it's a cutie! Oh, it's a little cutie! You're not even thinking of the right oh creature and I'm just following you. Oh, it's so cute. Okay, question number six. And it goes a little something like this. A band who profited from a silent Spotify record sold the chance to submit what on their new album? Albums open lyrics, audio of one song, or cover images. I did see. Who's it going to be? Ah, oh, $70,000 can seem like a lot, but if the album's a classic, your message can live forever. That's because Wolfpack sold the content of track 10 of their next album. Can you do me a favor, Noodle Blue? Audio of one song. Take this to Aunt Lynn. Is the answer. Oh my gosh, that's a savage question. Well, savage question song. Sorry, you got it wrong. Almost 6,000 extra lives just got used. That's crazy. Woo! I know I'd like some ad space on Confessions or 21. All right. Question number seven. That's seven. Which of these cities is named for a U.S. president? Adamstown, Pitcairn, Cleveland, Ohio, or Monrovia, Liberia? Hmm? Adamstown Pitcairn is named for a for a John Adams, but uh, the mutineer, not the president. And Cleveland, Ohio is named for Moses Cleveland, but Liberia was big into James Monroe. Monrovia, Liberia is the answer. 7,073 got it right. Uh, One of two national capitals named for a U.S. president. If you must know. Liberian girl, you know that you came and you changed my world, just like in the movies. Seven thousand seventy-three in the place to be. Got it right. Let's go. Question number eight, y'all. Too much licorice can prevent your body from absorbing what? Iron, potassium, or zinc? You can do it. All righty. She said she said I'm not calling licorice unhealthy, but those people who hate it may have a slight health edge since an overdose of it can deny your body much <laughs> needed potassium. 6,484 got it right. Older people are especially warned against too much licorice. I never liked it. Mm -mm. Not for me. Q9, hope you're feeling fine. A guitarist on many Wings albums has a name rhyming with which Paul McCartney song? Blackbird, Penny Lane, or Yesterday? All right, from 71 to 81, he worked with Paul as a member of Wings before becoming a Rock Hall of Fame inductee as, member, as a member of the Moody Blues. Now, was Paul unconsciously drawn to Denny Lane, or was he just talented? Well, he's pretty talented. Penny Lane is the answer, because his name is Denny Lane. 4,235. Staying alive, and that ain't no jive. Question number 10 is just around the bend. Paul and Denny, being friendly. I want to go to Denny's. Oh, or friendlies. I'm so hungry. 
right. Question number 10, y'all. Here we go. Time to get it in, my friends. Which film did not feature an early appearance of the new American host of The Weakest Link? Basic Instinct, The Fugitive, or Taxi Killer? All right, how do you beat the classic British dry wit, huh? You get the fury of Jane Lynch. But you've been duped if you thought she was in Basic Instinct. That was the parody, Fatal Instinct. You can briefly catch her in The Fugitive and Taxi Killer, though. So Basic Instinct is the answer. Pew, 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 air horns. Oh, my God, is this another savage question? 1,334 players braving the fires and flames of savagery. Oh. Q11, let's go to work. Which of these is an illegal food ingredient across the United States? Sassafras oil, unpasteurized milk, or wormwood? Come on, babies. Things come and go, while some simply go and never return. Absinthe containing wormwood is back in the U.S., but drinks containing sassafras oil are still uncool. 1,462 got it right, and unpasteurized milk is fine in nearly half the country. Question 12 is here! Oh! All right, we still have 15 players in the VIP, 1,500 in the... <laughs> Q12. Which of these words has the lowest Scrabble score? Wavy, puff, or gawk? This one's for all the money. So get this one right. Mm -mm. I bet there's people with, that didn't have extra lives. Like, oh, damn. That's why you gotta get them. All right. It takes a hardened board gamer to compute Scrabble scores on the fly. <laughs> I can't say fly without thinking about Mike Pence's head now. <laughs> it was just chilling up there. See, you couldn't tell if I had one. Yeah, that fly, it, they, first of all, it wouldn't be. Shout out to y'all. You guys are $400 richer. That's crazy. Oh. Woo! Oh, my heart is racing. And another one is over and done. So I hope you won or at least had fun. But if you didn't like, you know, tonight, as we're fond of saying, there's always tomorrow. Because we do this every night. And it's always great to see you. That's for sure. I hope you don't forget about that charity. The Moms Helping Moms Foundation, filling a great need all over New Jersey. They're at MomsHelpingMomsFoundation.org. And every donation is so very helpful. Mm -mm. Okay. Until next time, this is Matt Richards saying, if our skin was transparent, then parents would look at their newborn and be like, Oh, Linda, Linda. Oh, wow, he has your liver. I thought you were asking if wow. this is me. Wow. I know. See, the liver's on my dad's side. Really cool. So the trees are going to have to be well. Your family's liver. Look at it. 